Today we're going to be making a barrel boring stand. Now this is essentially going to be a giant version of the saw horses I make. A couple exceptions. The top plate has this cutout, is gonna have this cutout here for the handle of my drill. And the middle section and the bottom section are having four inches or about 10 centimeter of uh, length cut off so that way handle and cord stuff can go down here and I might do some other things and then the legs are 36 inches or a couple centimeter less than a meter Here's the rifling bench, pretty much done. I'm gonna run some screws into here and the top for extra strength. Now, uh, we're gonna, probably gonna polish this top to 400 grit because uh, we're about to make some sliding trammels. For one for the drill bit guides, a second one that's gonna have the barrel strap to it, and uh, Maybe some other specialized tooling that will slide along the top. Basically, the drill goes in this end down here, and the barrel will be here. Someone will be operating the drill, or, the, or I'll put the lock on the drill, and we'll hand feed the barrel in. Doing those test barrels, I definitely want to do this by hand. So that way I can feel when the bit is filled up with chips, I can back it out put it in, back it out. Keep clearing those chips and oiling it. So it. I would do a chain and weight, but I think that would make me too greedy. And I'll break a bit or something. And making these extended drill bits was not easy nor fun. Ah, oh, the joys of having a shop where the only source of power is a generator. This is going to take a while. I won't take you on for this ride. Okay, there it is. The bench is complete. Now let's start working on the sliding parts. All right, we've got a, a two foot piece cut for our, our barrel slide and how we're going to keep this from twisting turning and falling off of this is we've got some two inch by three inch angle iron that's uh 50 mil by 75 mil that i cut 25 mil or one inch off the uh two inch end and that gives us enough clearance 
on either side for our board to grip and hold onto the top rail. I'm gonna nail these on here and we'll come back to you. Okay, well, there's two sides, but oh, apparently these boards are two different thicknesses. I'm gonna have to redo this. But there's the idea. Fits on here, lets it slide without turning either way. So I didn't bring it along for attaching these. It was more tedious than I thought it was going to be. But here's the general idea. So you got your barrel clamped down to this uh, carriage. Here's your two sliding drill bit guides, and they aren't drilled. When I get the drill in place, I'm just going to let the bit drill them. I'm going to measure the height of where the drill bit's sitting, clamp the barrel so that it meets equally in height, and then uh, I probably will measure up that same height and pre-drill these. But uh, as you move the carriage along into the drill bit, it'll press on these slide them forward but probably before it gets to that point I will just move them by hand keep advancing them along the drill and of course as when I go to back the drill out for chips I'll pull the first one here in unison with it but uh, that's it I may add some blocks to the legs to drive stakes down into the ground or put some or blocks to put weight on top of just in case uh, my pulp by pushing the barrel into the drill bit makes one end lift up.